Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to create perforated material, mesh material, so called in Unity ERP. Uh, you can see how cool it looks like, it's shiny and it's casting shadow here behind, you can see it. So, let's do it. So first I'm going to create material, just regular URP lit material. I'm going to apply it here on this wall. Then I'm going to uh, prepare my, te my textures. You can find these textures and download them for free after uh, signing up from Substance 3D Adobe. If you write down Mesh, you can see and choose whatever you like. You can download it and then via the Substance Player, you can export the textures, the maps. Uh, it's available for Windows, Mac and Linux. You can check out our videos for how to export Subsars maps from Subsars via Substance Player, which is also for free. You can find the link in the description. And I'll continue after I did this. Um, I've already prepared my textures over here, my maps. I'm going to come here and drag and drop all of them in my project. Then, first I'm going to take the opacity map. Yes, correct, the opacity map. And I'm going to uh, put it on the base map. So, here it's applied. The key, mom key moment here is you need to go and open the opacity map that you've exported from Substance Player. Uh, open it in Photoshop. Select the white stuff because we want the white to be the mesh and black is whole. Then click uh, layer view cut. And now I have only the white things on, on um, transparent background then you need to save this texture uh, as PNG because PNG keeps the, the background. Here I'm going to save it. Yes, I, I'm going to overwrite it. I've prepared it already. Just want to show you this step. It's crucial. And then when I go to Unity and replace actually the opacity with the, this one, the opacity map with the just then you create it. Here you can see nothing happened. But if I go and en uh, enable alpha clipping, voila, we have a, a transparent mesh. Further on, the, my wall here has a thickness. You can imagine this is a panel of facade or something similar. In order to have the back side of it, uh, naming the thickness here you from the face render press both and you can have it from the other side as well you can see there is thickness okay um, I recommend you I recommend you to press receive shadows because you can see here if you pay attention to this part over here the adjacent walls or objects they're casting shadow on our material. Here uh, under the alpha clipping when we tick this there is a new uh, row coming. This is the threshold. So if you play a bit with it you can see we can recognize here on the shadow or here as well. Uh, if we come closer to zero it's becoming solid and if we go nearby one it's cutting even more from the from the alpha map, so to say. Okay, with knowing this, I'll continue working on the material. The next step is to add normal map. I'll choose this one over here. It's important to 
come here to the normal maps I've prepared too and select under texture type normal apply okay and I'll go to the material as well and I've test with one of these and choose which one looks better for me maybe I'll increase or decrease this experiment a bit let's say like this and now we can see here we have a tiny edge let's say tiny edge over here as well I'll keep it like this let me just check um, when you go to some of the textures here you can see what is the maximum size of it I've exported my textures uh, to 4k so I can just select all of them and just give them 4k so it's yeah okay great further on uh, to make it look looking as a metal because I would like to be a metal I will increase I can check it here I'll increase the metallic map and adjust the smoothness increase it as well you can play around and test what you like and what is best for your needs you can choose of course the color if you want something different I like it like this and if you like to add a bit more shiny effect on your material I would suggest you to go uh, grab the same uh, map that you use for the base map first come here tick the emission grab the same map if you click here it will show you which map uh, you've used drag and drop it over here like this and then click here on this field and add a bit of shiny effect on the material so you can see it with it with and without it I like it like this it gives a bit of more quality luxurious look to the material if you enjoyed so far please uh, like our video and consider to subscribe I would like to show you further on something additional um, that could give you option for inspiration or different thoughts so for now we play it with opaque material but if you go for transparent and here under the blending mo mode uh, press additive we can see that we have something between uh, transparent which it's shady could be a nice effect uh, if you have something abstract to create and another option is to play it on multiply check this out it looks like it's transparent but it has a reflection on it and um, it's different layers so it could be useful for some cases if you're creating something new or different I hope you like it and see you in the next video. Thanks. If you enjoyed anything in the video, then drop a like and a big thank you to everyone who does. If you haven't subscribed yet, click below and join us. We have some great videos coming up that you don't want to miss. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.